Hello everyone. I welcome you all in my new video lecture. In this video lecture, we will study about voltage tolerance criteria. Now what exactly we mean by voltage tolerance criteria? The Information Technology Industry Council and that is known as ITIC has published a graph that provides guidelines as to the voltage tolerance limits within which information technology equipment should function satisfactorily. Now let us see what exactly the graph indicates and the graph is divided in three regions. The area within the graph is the voltage tolerance envelope in which equipment should operate satisfactorily. The area above the graph is the prohibited region in which equipment damage might result. The area below the graph is the region where the equipment might not function satisfactorily but no damage to the equipment should result. Now let us see the graph. So this is our graph which is given by the ITIC. On the x-axis we have taken seconds as well as number of cycles. On the y-axis we have taken percentage of nominal voltage. So here we can see that uh, area above the graph and that is known as a prohibited region. So this is our prohibited region. If we go beyond this area above the graph then equipment is subject to damage. This is our no damage area. Area below the graph. Here damage to the equipment might not occur but equipment may not function satisfactorily. In the graph area that is known as a voltage envelope in which our equipment work satisfactorily. Now let us see one by one all the events which occur as per this graph. We have steady state tolerance. The steady state range describes an RMS voltage that is either slowly varying or is constant. The subject range is plus minus 10 percent from the nominal voltage. Any voltage in this range may be present for an indefinite period and is a function of the normal loading and losses in the distribution system. So plus minus 10 percent that is our normal limit of tolerance and then it will be a steady state tolerance. Now let us see the graph again. So plus minus 10 percent. So here we have 100 percent. So 90 percent and 110 percent above and below the nominal voltage 10 percent plus as well as 10 percent minus and that is known as a no interruption in the function region or we can say it is a steady state limit and for the indefinite period of time any equipment can function as it is uh, designed. Then line voltage swell. This region describes a voltage swell having an RMS amplitude up to 120 percent of the nominal voltage with a duration of up to 0.5 second. This transient may occur when large loads are removed from the system. We are talking about line voltage swell. So this transient may occur when large loads are removed from the system or when the voltage is applied from the sources other than utility. Now again let us see voltage swell. So 120 percent. So this line indicates 120 percent voltage swell for 0.5 second. So this voltage swell. Same way we have voltage sags. Sags to 80 percent of the nominal are assumed to have a typical duration of up to 10 second. Sags to 70 percent of nominals are assumed to have a duration of up to 0.5 second. The transient result from 
application of heavy loads as well as fault condition at various point in the AC power distribution system. Now let us see voltage sag. So here we can see it is a 80% line for 10 second. This is our 70% uh, voltage sag for 0.5 second. So this is a uh, voltage sag for two level 80% of the nominal or 70% of the nominal and then dropout voltage dropout includes both severe RMS voltage sags and complete interruption of the applied voltage followed by immediate reapplication of the nominal voltage. The interruption may last up to 20 milliseconds. The transient typically results from the occurrence and subsequent clearing of the fault in the distribution system. Now let us see the dropout. Here we can see the dropout of voltage, total loss of the voltage or severe voltage sag and that result in the dropout. The next is the low frequency decaying ring wave. This region describes a decaying ring wave transient that typically results from the connection of power factor correction capacitors to an AC power distribution system. When we switch on power factor correcting capacitors then it might be possible that a ringing transient may occur. The frequency of this transient may vary from 200 Hz to 500 kHz depending on the resonant frequency of the AC distribution system. The amplitude of the transient varies from 140% for 200 Hz ring wave to 200% for 5 kilohertz ring wave with a linear increase in amplitude with frequency. So 140% to 200% and that is uh, our low frequency decaying ring wave this transient or impulse that is because of low frequency decaying ring wave 140% to 200% of the nominal. Same way we have high frequency impulse ring wave. This region describes the transient that typically occur as the result of lightning strikes. This region of the curve deals with both amplitude and duration. Duration is again important in case of impulse transient. So energy that is the amplitude as well as duration rather than RMS amplitude. So this indicates impulse up to 500% and normally that is because of uh, lightning strikes. But duration is very important. No damage region. Events in this region includes sags and dropouts that are more severe and continuously applied voltages that are less than the lower limit of the steady state tolerance limit. 10% plus and minus that is our steady state uh, limit voltage tolerance limit but below this it is known as a no damage region. A normal functional state of information technology equipment is not expected during this condition but no damage to the equipment should result. This is no damage region. Same way we have prohibited region. This region includes any surge or swell which exceeds the upper limit of the envelope beyond above the graph it is known as a prohibited region. If information technology equipment is subjected to such condition damage might result. So this way we have seen voltage tolerance criteria various event and a graph above the voltage envelope that is prohibited below the envelope and that is known as no damage region. So thank you for watching my video. Keep watching. Thank you very much.